Welcome everybody to another episode of Inside the Mind. This episode here is an episode where uh, it's a new season. You know, it's my one of my first solo scrims and I'm testing things out and I specifically wanted to test out the peppers just to see like how OP these actually are. And I'm telling you boys, this is the new fucking meta. Uh, solos isn't happening for about another month or so. You know, a lot of trio cash cups, but I know you guys have been begging for a solo inside the mind. I've been slacking a little bit on these because uh, I'm currently trying to break the world record for the longest stream, but let's hop straight into it. So you guys see, I just popped a uh, pepper. I know that there's a guy in that base, so I wanted to keep eyes on him. I know he's going to look at me and just look how fast I'm able to rotate across the map. Yeah, I just rotated like a pretty decent sized rotate without having to spend too many mats because I have peppers that just basically allow me to book it across the map without people holding me and beaming the shit out of me. So now I want to look back for a spray, try to hold some kids. All right, if you're able to crack somebody, the whole lobby will tend to focus them. And uh, boom, now I got myself a refresh. I have a bigger loot pool that I can basically decide on, right? I see that there's four floppers. There's a bunch of extra mats. I'm capped now. I got myself a nice little tunnel. And it's kind of just a waiting game here. Fuck, bro. I keep the P90. I know some of you are probably wondering why I keep the P90 over the AUG. Uh, especially when you're in this late in endgame, your AUG is probably going to be useless now that it's two bullets. Uh, sure, you might get a beam or two off, but a gold P90 is one of the strongest guns in the game in the current meta. And if you're able to use a charged shotgun into a P90, that that does work. So just looking for some little picks. I have extra heals, right? I have extra minis. I have extra slurp fish. It's okay if I take some damage. Um, Because I still haven't decided either like what I want to hold. So if I have to use the slurp fish, well, it'll make my life easier. Like right now, literally, I'm just thinking in my head, do I want slurps? Do I want... Peppers, do I want flops? Like, what do I want? Let's wait to see where zone goes. And this guy's aiming straight at me, I think, with a sniper. I'm not fully sure. There's no point in peeking him. Risk my full game just so that I can get a fucking 19 tag with a gold P90. It's not worth it. So, I see that zone goes there. I want to look to build a tarp. I want to make sure that there's people... People aren't on my layer. So, I built myself a nice little tarp here. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, now I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab peppers and or I'm going to pop a pepper and I'm going to drop and hold the slurp fish. I pop the peppers. These peppers last forever. They need, they need to be nerfed for sure. And boom, I just run through my old tarp. Look at this. It's literally so free. Nobody can fucking shoot me because I'm swimming so fast. And I'm at front of zone. Looking back to hold kids, right? Maybe I can get a pick or two. I'm, I'm waiting to pad here because I know I won't be able to use my pad later. Um, and I kind of want to pad to height. I think in the current meta, if you're able to just pad to height, it's so hard to maintain height because people can't just pump you instantly, right? The beauty of height in the old meta was that you're able to just pump kids and keep them off your layer. Or maybe if you have an RPG like this guy under me does. He's able to RPG and pump me, but he can't do that anymore because this motherfucker has to pressure cook his shotgun for three seconds before he can let it go. And it just literally makes me safer on height. So zone pulls back. I'm trying to pressure this kid because I know this kid's the one with the RPG and he's the one trying to fuck me up. He's the only one that wants height as of right now. I only need to be connected by one layer because he's going to keep shooting me out. Like, you see that? He RPG'd me and he tried to charge shoddy it. But he couldn't. Because he had to fucking hold the charge. So right now I'm just worried about him staying above other builds. Obviously there's kids in front that might look at me. But I have the floppers just in case I make a mistake. And I need to uh, recover from that. I can always just tank storm. So I'm checking behind me to see if there's kids pushing up. But this kid's still RPGing my ass. And somebody ends up getting in storm right there and flopper playing me while I'm focused ahead. And I just, I let it go. I drop down, I let it go. 
I'm almost out of mats. I need to get a pick here soon. And I see this guy setting up an edit. So boom. Hit him with a P90. No, you asked why did I take the why didn't I take the AUG? Well that's fucking why I didn't take the AUG. And this guy had an extra flopper. So I was like, alright, I might as well go for height right now while I have the extra flopper. You know, abuse that extra loot that you have. And it's the same kid, it's the fucking click skin with the RPG. He's on height. But he's fighting somebody else right now. He's fighting the person with the shockwave launcher. So I'm able to take it because the person with the shockwave launcher has no idea that I'm on height trying to sneak up. Only the click skin does. And I know he's going to keep coming up. I think he's out of shockwaves at this point. That's what I'm thinking in my head. He ends up not being out of shockwaves later, but in my head I'm thinking he's out of shockwaves. He's not full big dicking me, which he should be with that weapon. And I just get knocked out in the storm here. Don't know how I survive. But I do. And you see that drop that I did right there? If you don't know, like, how much damage, how, how fall damage works, a lot of players would probably die right there. Um, you're able to drop three full levels if you don't jump without taking fall damage. And so I dropped those three levels to save my my mats because I only had one build left and I was using my mats like really wisely knowing that every piece mattered. And I end up going down there. But the, uh, the main lesson of this inside the mind is just about those peppers, peppers and height, right? Height in the new season I think it's much easier to big dick in solos because much less people have RPGs, right? You can only get RPGs out of Marauders right now. And having those peppers allows you to just rotate freely and save so many mats in those end game zones, right? Half in, half out, first moving, second moving. Having peppers, it, it literally makes it impossible for other people to, to shoot you, right? Like, like think about tracking a normal person's speed. Now imagine somebody running super speed on fucking Adderall across the land. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Inside the Mind. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. And, you know, feel free to stop by the uh, the stream. I'm streaming nonstop for the next probably two weeks. Uh, sleep streaming, streaming scrims all day. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Also, shout out to Lunez and your fellow Arab TV over there, the thick boys rocking it out. Your fellow Arab TV has a huge elimination, takes out T Flo and Clumsy. It's your fellow Arab, dude. He's always on the top of the leaderboard. I'm full committed to Arab. Full committed to Arab. Your fellow Arab. That's my boy.